Yes, ma'am. Your screen is now visible. Yes, I switch the well. Yes, ma'am. Your screen is now visible. You can start. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, come to the radiation. Radiation is the energy that travels in the form of waves or particles and is part of our everyday environment. Radiation is everywhere. It is in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. See this figure for radioactive atoms, energy, radiation, and particles. Now, life and radiation. All life is dependent on small doses of electromagnetic radiation. For example, photosynthesis and vision use the sun's radiation. People are exposed to radiation from cosmic rays as well as to radioactive materials found in the soil, water, food, air, and also inside the body. Man-made radiation sources are widely used in medicine, industry, and uh, research. It can be either useful or harmful. See this figure, atom, nucleus, proton, electron, and quark. Nature and origin of radiation. There are various kinds of radiation which can be classified in electromagnetic radiation and particle radiation. Ionizing radiation, visible non-ionizing radiation. So here cosmic rays, gamma rays, X-ray, ultraviolet, infrared, radar, FM, TV, short wave. Low, from high to low. 
uh, the types of radiations non ionizing radiation and ionizing radiation so in case of non ionizing radiation ultraviolet visible infrared microwave radio and tv power transmission are there and in case of ionizing radiation the radiation capable for producing ions when interacting with matter x rays alpha beta gamma and cosmic rays uh the non ionizing radiation sources are ultraviolet light visible light infrared radiation microwaves radio and tv power transmission uh, the non ionizing radiation examples are ultraviolet black light induced in fluorescence in some materials vision very small portion that animals use to process visual information heat infrared a little beyond the red spectrum radio waves beyond infrared microwaves electrical power transmission 16 cycles per second with a wavelength of 1 to 2 million meters and ultraviolet sources are sunlight most harmful ultraviolet is absorbed by the atmosphere depends on altitude fluorescent lamp electric arc welding can damage the eye corona germicidal lamps i damage from this light and skin cancer the ultraviolet effects are high ultraviolet that kills the bacterial and other infectious agents and high dose causes sunburn increased risk of skin cancer sorry to interrupt and, uh, results in hello ma'am sorry to interrupt again the presentation is not visible see the addition Okay, ma'am. High ultraviolet kills bacterial and other infectious agents. High dose causes sunburn, increased risk of skin cancer, pigmentation that results in suntan. Suntan lotion contains chemical and absorb ultraviolet radiation reaction in the skin to produce vitamin D that prevents uh, this uh, strongly absorbed by air. Thus, the danger of hole in the atmosphere. Now, visible energy. The energy between four hundred and seventy nm. High energy, bright light produces of number of adaptive responses. Standards are set for the intensity of light in the workplace, measured in candles or luminance. The infrared radiation. the energy between 750 nm to 0.3 cm the energy of heat heat is the transfer of energy can damage cor corona iris retina and lens of the eye glass workers glass blouse contact microwaves and radio waves the energy between them is 0.1 cm to 1 km variety of industrial and home uses for heating and information transfer radio tv mobile phones produced by molecular vibration in solid bodies or crystals health effect heating uh, long term effects be studied the electrical power standards in homes and business uh, highest level of exposure from electric power generation and distribution system high voltage power line medical system uh, magnetic imaging acute health effects shock long term health effect appear to be few but may some data uh, to suggest adverse effects the ionizing radiation ionization ionization means separation of ions for example nacl na++ cl- here the ionization in a radiation capable for producing ions when interacting with matter in other words enough energy to remove an electron from an atom now the sources are x ray radioactive material produce alpha beta and gamma radiation cosmic rays from the sun and space the ionizing radiation see this uh, figure alpha beta beta gamma paper plastic steel and lead sheet is there 
now radioactive material they are either natural or created in nuclear reactor or accelerator the radioactive material is unstable and emits energy in order to return to a more stable state that is particles or gamma rays and half life half life it is nothing but the time required to disintegrate half of its original substance it is half life uh, time for radioactive material to decay by one half alpha particles two neutrons and two protons the charge of plus 2 emitted from nucleus of radioactive atoms transfer energy in very short distance 10 cm in air shielded by paper or layer of steel primary hazard from internal exposure alpha emitters can accumulate in tissue bone kidney liver lung uh, causing local damage and beta particles small electrically charged particles similar to electrons charge of minus 1 ejected from nuclei of radioactive atoms emitted with various kinetic energies shielded by wood uh, body penetration 0.2 to 1.3 cm depending on energy can cause skin burn or be an internal hazard of ingested the gamma rays uh, electromagnetic photons or radiation identical to x rays except for sources uh, emitted from nucleus of radioactive atoms spontaneous emission emitted with kinetic energy related to radioactive source highly penetrating extensive shielding required seri uh, serious external radiation hazard and x rays overlap with gamma rays electromagnetic photons or radiation produced from orbiting electrons or free electrons usually machine produce produce when electrons strike a target material inside the x ray tube emitted with various energies and wavelengths highly penetrating extensive shielding required and external radiation hazard discovered in 1895 by ron jane Radiation units exposure uh, absorb dose gray amount of energy absorb and equivalent dose uh, yeah. make different sources of radiation equivalent severed and standards U.S. National Council on Radiation Protection, International Council on Radiation Protection, ICRP and NCRP, occupational exposure guidelines. So here 100 millisievert over five years, average 20 millisievert per year with a maximum of 15 MSV in any year. And general public background about 3 millisievert per year, guideline 1 millisievert per year. The ionizing radiation health effect, the use of high energy ionizing radiation is continuously increasing in many sectors like industries, medical diagnostic centers, nuclear reactors, nuclear research establishment, etc. Above certain levels, electromagnetic fields can be harmful to health and affect the human body in different ways, depending on their frequency. Thus, the actual problem is when the people exposed to large amount of radiation in extraordinary circumstances as they have uh, this uh, deleterious effect on human life and other materials. Uh, the categories of exposure are occupational exposure, public exposure, and medical exposure of patients. So in case of occupational exposure, exposure of workers incurred as a result of their work with the exception of excluded exposures and exposures from except activities, medical exposure, and background. And in the pu public exposure, all exposures of the public other than occupational exposures and medical exposures of patients. Medical exposure of patients are incurred by patients as part of their own medical or dental diagnosis or treatment. Volunteers helping in the support and comfort of patients and biomedical research volunteers. The reducing exposure, time, distance, and shielding. 
so in case of time reduce the spent near the source of radiation then distance increase the distance from the source of radiation and for shielding place shielding material between you and the source of radiation radiation protection different types of radiation detectors monitors and personal dosimeters are used for radiological protection by the measurement of x or gamma rays see this uh, system these are the these are the sources and this is gamma ray spectroscopy system with software and uh, computer the scintillation counter uh, one of the earliest method of detecting nuclear radiation was the luminescence they produce in certain substances in 1903 crocks in england and elster and gitel in germany independently reported that alpha particles impinging on zinc sulfide screens pro produce individual flashes which could be observed through a microscope the first attempt to count alpha particles by observing flashes of light scintillation generated in diamond by them was made by this uh, e regner in germany in 1908 so scintillation counter since uh, 1945 this old technique is now playing a most important uh, role Hello, this has been due to the development of photomultiplier tube and intensive study of the luminescent properties of many inorganic solids as well as organic compounds either in the solid state or in solution a purely systematic diagram a purely systematic diagram of a scintillation counter unit is shown in figure so see this uh, scintillation counter here photo multiplier tube what is scintillation scintillation means flashes of light and in case of scintillation counter there is a photomultiplier tube uh, it, this is called as a photomultiplier tube because its function is to multiply in pmt that is photomultiplier tube there are dynodes from 1 to 10 or 1 to डॉक्टर सर प्लीज कॉल टू मैम एंड आस्क हम आई डिड सर
होते का आवाज आला हां येतोय आवाज आला यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल दिस फोटो मल्टीप्लाई टू देयर आर The schematic view of scintillation counter. Here, scintillation counter. This PMT and this PMT is present in the uh, scintillation counter. X-ray, gamma rays, NaCl crystal. That is sodium iodide doped with thallium. And the PMT. These are the dynodes. It consists of the luminescent material known as scintillator, reflecting layers such as aluminium foil, enclosing the luminescent substance, or uh, facilitate the collection of light. Light pipes, the photomultiply tube, amplifier, voltage discriminator, and an electronic circuit uh, to record the output pulses. Before considering the performance of the scintillation counter, let us first examine the behavior of some of its component. The photomultiply tube. In modern scintillation counters, human eye is replaced by an electronic device called a photomultiply tube. it is a high sensitive photocell converting light energy into electrical energy in one of the commonest type of photomultiplier a semi transparent csb cathode is deposited on the inside of the end of a high vacuum envelope cathodes of high this type have a maximum response to light at the blue end of the spectrum the photo electrons ejected from this cathode are accelerated towards the electrode d1 that is first dynodes and are collected by the electrode where they liberate more secondary electrons photo multiply tube these are focus on the electrode d2 the process is repeated in several stages by focusing the electron from one surface to the next these collecting electrodes d1 d2 etc are called dynodes a photomultiplier tube may have an as many as 13 or 16 dynodes each one being maintained at a positive potential of 100 volts with respect to the previous one the total voltage drop across the whole system is supplied from the rectifier power pack this uh, photomultiplier tube high energy photons ionization track photocathodes focusing electrode pmt and uh, these are the dynodes connector pin scintillator primary electron secondary electrons dynode anode photomultiplier tube the dynode as a blind structure and is covered with a layer of material with a high secondary emission coefficient such as cslb or agmg in the number of electrons reaching a anode a is the a million or more times the number of electrons reaching the first dynode the anode a is connected to the positive voltage supply through a series resistance r because of the voltage drop across the load resistor a negative output pulse is produced by flash of light falling on the photocathode photomultiplier tube this pulse can be recorded by scalars at room temperature there will be an appreciable emission of thermionic electrons from the cathode to produce undesirable current known as a dark current this noise can be discriminated if the initial light pulse is sufficiently large when very weak light pulses are to be detected the dark current is reduced by operating the photo tube at a very low temperature scintillators Uh, the principal method of excitation are in uh, this luminescence in candidates and luminescence the former refers to radiation due to temperature of the source and the latter refers to all types of radiation due to cause other than temperature the luminescence caused by photons are named as photoluminescence and are further divided into photo uh, into phosphorescence and fluorescence when the visible or ultraviolet light is emitted within 10 to 8 second or less after the radiation absorption the emission is called fluorescence fluorescence uh, phosphorescence refer to delayed light emission which may follow the radiation absorption by minutes days or even years 
the substances which scintillate when bombarded by radiation are named as scintillator also called phosphors are named are mainly classified as organic crystal this employed a large uh, clear crystal uh, of the organic substance uh, naphthalene as phosphor the crystal surrounded by thin aluminum foil is attached to the top close of to the cathode of the photomultiplier tube following this it has been found that other related organic compounds consisting of several linked benzene rings are better scintillators of the solid organic scintillators anthracene and til when appear to the best on account of the larger output pulses the organic crystalline scintillators have a faster decay time that is 10 to 8 second Uh, nearly 10 to 8 second high transparency but a poorer con conversion efficiency especially for heavy particles because of low z and rho uh, these crystals have low cross section for photoelectric and pair production process we know that these are the interaction processes there are so many but out of these only three we are going to consider as a main interaction process photoelectric effect compton effect and pair production so uh, photoelectric effect if uh, electrons are fall on the k it is called as a k shell photoelectric effect and in case of pair production there is a creation of pair and what is compton here when a photon of energy h nu it is falls on the target material then scattered photon is having energy less as compared to incident photon energy because some part of energy is going to recoil electron it is a compton effect so here at the for photoelectric and pair production uh, process thus cannot be used for the detection of gamma rays and x rays they are very good for recoil neutron detectors recoil neutrons detection organic liquids Uh, certain solutions of organic compounds are also capable of acting as phosphors although they are not as efficient as the best pure crystals the liquid is scintillators has two main components the solvent for example toluene phenyl cyclohexane or xylene and the primary solute for example a few percent of diphenyl xol or uh, terphenyl when the scintillation Occur in the extreme ultraviolet region. One use a wavelength shifter. A small amount of secondary solute must be added in the liquid for this purpose. The wider choice of secondary solute has been provided by this uh, performance of these liquids is quite sensitive to the presence of impurities in the solvent. Plastics. Uh, this organic scintillator system which lies between a solid and a liquid has a plastic as the base a solution is made of the primary solute with the addition of a wavelength shifter in a solvent like vinyl toluene or acetylene which can be re readily converted into a solid plastic the resulting transparent material can be made in large pieces and cut to any desired shape plastic scintillators are widely used in high energy physics most of the commercially available phosphors are claimed to have pure uh, height 60% that of anthracene in organic crystal and this organic compound on inorganic substance do not scintillate when they are pure the most sodium Thallium iodide activated with thallium, about 0.1 percent. A less sensitive alternative is the uh, no hygroscopic iodide, also activated with thallium. Calcium iodide with a trace of europium is more efficient than any. A uh, silver activated zinc. ZnS sulfide is an excellent scintillator, but can be used only in these layers because it soon becomes opaque to the light emitted by it. 
its main applications has been in the study of alpha particles nai crystal in its uh, crystal such as nai tl and iron tl replaces an iron nai plus and forms an emission center the tl plus ion thus occupies a posit position of equilibrium in the lattice such that a displacement from that position produces an increase in potential energy for the entire lattice system near the thallium ion tl plus ion the absorption of radiation changes the tl plus ion to an excited state for which the potential energy curve has a minimum at a position uh, different from that in the ground state the absorption transition a leaves the system in a state of high vibrational energy see this illumination process in nai tl this uh, potential energy y axis x axis there is a distance uh, the merits of nai tl crystal uh, it has apparent for zns that is zinc sulfide the highest value of uh, cip it is nearly 8.5% it can be grown into large single crystal of more than 10 inches in diameter and 10 inches in height its emission spectra has a average value of wavelength nearly 4100 angstrom unit and fwhm that is full width at half maxima it is 850 plus 100 angstrom unit so what is this uh, fwhm suppose uh, here we are plotting uh, in x axis there are number of counts and uh, y axis so maximum counts are suppose 10000 then uh, draw a line between middle that is 5000 and a value between these two that is full width full width 10000 so half maximum minimum is uh, middle is 5000 so draw the two perpendicular line to uh, x axis and find that width that is called as a full width that half maximum and angstrom unit its absorption spectra lies in ultraviolet region with the peaks at 2340 and 2930 angstrom unit due to this reason these crystals are highly transparent the merits of nai tl crystal 6 is because of high values of ru and z it has large cross section okay what is cross section it is sigma total that is total interaction cross section it is obtained by uh, calculating the value of mu that is linear attenuation coefficient and mass attenuation coefficient and how they are obtained by primary equation del i change in intensity is directly proportional to incident intensity and change in thickness now in order to remove that proportionality sign take some constant and that constant is mu so del i it is equal to mu into uh, i delta i x is nothing but a thickness and i is the intensity del means difference uh, so here difference in intensity that is primary intensity and intensity after transmission and that mu is nothing but a linear attenuation coefficient uh, that proportionality constant and if we divide this linear attenuation coefficient by its density that, that is rho value then we can obtain the mass attenuation coefficient so this is the basic parameter linear attenuation coefficient and calculated by substituting the value of density of that particular element or compound or mixture and finally the total interaction cross section that is sigma tot uh, it can be calculated by substituting the value of mu by rho and the unit of cross section is bar one bar uh, uh, due to the this reason nai tl is very suitable for the detection of gamma and x ray so for research purpose generally uh, naitl that is sodium iodide doped with thallium this naitl crystal detector is used uh, and for more accurate we can use also the silicon lithium detector hpg photon detector so it is uh, since nai is very hygroscopic the crystals are therefore encapsulated the crystals are very brittle and very sensitive to temperature gradient and thermal shocks
uh, interaction of gamma rays with matter what are gamma rays the electromagnetic photons or radiations emitted from nucleus of radioactive atoms highly penetrating causes serious radiation hazards these are uh, photons uh, it, uh, for energy is lower than 15 mev there are three main processes by which photon interact with matter so these are the photoelectric effect compton effect and pair production i have already explained about that these are the three main interaction processes photoelectric compton and pair production so in case of uh, this uh, photoelectric uh, what happens the electrons uh, uh, this photons falls uh, electrons this is conducting surface and emitted electrons uh, the compton scattering here the photon of energy h nu is falls on this is a target mode less as compared to incident photon energy why this reason is that because uh, it it is divide, some part of the energy is going to recoil electrons so this incident photon energy it is a combination of both this scattered uh, photon electron scattered uh, electron energy and uh, scattered photon energy so both combination it gives the incident photon energy it is in compton scattering 0.1 mev to 10 mev and uh, pair production here uh, there is a formation of pair electrons and positrons when a gamma ray photon is incident on this target nucleus photoelectric effect uh, incident photon is totally absorb and ejects electron from the atom this effect dominates with low energy photons interacting with heavier elements and in compton scattering the electron is also ejected but incident photon surface and is scattered by loss losing some of its energy in water or biological tissues this effect dominates at energies above 50 kv and in case of pair production uh, in which in this process in which its energy is converted into uh electron positron pair this interaction starts occurring at energies higher than 1 mev unlike electron positron will eventually disappear annihilating one electron of surrounding material positron electron pair is converted uh, into two photons with energy of about 0.5 mev now see the softwares for uh, shielding effectiveness which uh, softwares are uh, using for that we determine shielding capabilities of materials experimentally using different detectors based on their interaction with matter we can determine shielding effectiveness uh, of materials that are constantly needed to protect human and life from uh, this effects of radiation theoretically so how these theoretical values are obtained it is obtained by xcom program bin xcom auto z effect this ph x m mu dot so first we will see what is xcom here it this is a database it is possible to obtain photon cross section data for a single element compound or mixture uh, by using this xcom program uh, how to run this program uh, see uh, the, suppose we want to find out the xcom for element chromium uh, this compound uh, so we have to first identify whether it is element compound or mixture then uh, write the symbol for that element Uh, write only symbol or atomic number if we we are going to write both atomic number as well as symbol then we are not able to obtain that data so only insert the symbol for example chromium we have inserted then method of entering additional energies are there is a optional option is op appear that enter the energies enter additional energies by hand so from this range is from 0.01 to 1.5 mev generally in our lab we are going to use the uh, sources from 10 kv to 1500 kv 
because this uh, energy range it is used used in medical field to detect the cancer treatment and also for agricultural field for food preservation soil sample rock sample uh, for cancer detection uh, to decide the radiation to be delivered without any harm to normal cell uh, it is necessary to have a precise knowledge of this gamma ray interaction data so how much radiations are to be delivered so that we can detect the cancer it, so that amount we can we are detecting in by using this nitr detector and also for Ma'am, you are not audible to us. Ma'am, hello. Hello, Paul. Ma'am. You might have any connecting issue. Just a sec. Hello, ma'am. uh hello participants uh ma'am has some technical issues uh so ma'am has finished their uh, lecture all are requested to please uh, submit your thank you ma'am thank you so much for your uh, nice presentation thank you so much if you have any uh, queries or any questions please ask thank you. any questions from participants recording in progress i think there are no questions uh, so thank you so much honorable for ma'am for the nice talk again to the our uh, participants now uh, i request mr sikan sir to please uh, go to the vote of thanks mr sikan thank you dr ram sir so i would like to to thank the all the resource person dr uh, professor roy sir professor yesho dekin sir dr dk gaikwad sir professor power ma'am so all the resource person have given their valuable time and shared their valuable thoughts to our uh, to this all the faculty members and the, all the students and i would like to thank the all these participants who have participated in this two days international workshop so and, and i i will express my especially uh, sincere gratitude to the principal dr gk kakade sir and dr dt wax sir and all the participants they should feel their uh, feedback link which is given in your chat box as well as in our whatsapp group you will receive all the certificates after two days if you have any query feel free to ask okay thank you sir thank you everyone thank you everyone for 
participating in this international uh, workshop. Thank you. Thank you so much.